There is a one kind of a businessman. When I talk this, some of you will feel irritated because there is a spirit of religion on you. Re rebuke that, get it out of your system. Because what I'm speaking is kingdom. Kingdom. We don't love money. We love Jesus. So hear me through the eyes of God. There is a kind of businessman God is raising up. There will be a different kind of businessman. I'm going to tell you something. Pastors, don't be upset with me. But throughout the Bible, God did not trust pastors and apostles with the body. When he died, he did not expect his disciples to take care of his body. When he died, it was a businessman who we never heard about, but he was silently following Jesus. It was that Joseph that he trusted his body with. So don't tell me just because you can preach God must trust you with his body. God trusted his body with a businessman. <laughs> when I say God is raising kings, you must understand I'm bringing the fulfillment of the heart of God because it talks about it in Peter where he said he's calling us kings and priests but what has happened is the church has focused so much on the priest part and we have ignored the king part so what has happened is the church has raised a bunch of broke people so forgive me if I preach something that you've not heard in the church but I'm sent to bring correction in this area the church is not weak the church is not broke. God is raising up kings and priests. I can go on and on and on and I show you how God did not trust evangelists and prophets and children of God to take care of a prophet. When it came to take care of the prophet, God had to find a Shunammite. God had to find a widow who was willing to take her last bread and give it to the man of God. He said, take it, no problem. We were supposed to eat this and die. But since you asked, take it. God knew that if he asked a pastor, it's me too, I'm a pastor, so don't worry, I'm not judging you. We are all in the same boat, so don't be upset. If God would have put that responsibility to a pastor to bury the body of Jesus, he would have gone and said, Are you a discount to get to? <laughs> they would have gone to the tomb and said, You know, you guys have been using this tomb for a long time. They would have got a second hand tomb. Because there's a discount on this tomb, Pastor. 500 rupee discount. No, 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 no. God needed a businessman who has touched money, who has seen money, who is not going to see money and get scared. When he gets a bill of uh, uh, 10 lakhs, he's not going to think, are we really using this wisely? Do we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Do we really need 28 lights in here, Apostle? Because in my house, you know, there is that, that nice orange light. <laughs> yeah, that bulb is very powerful. That one, maybe 
maximum three bulbs the whole place will be bright apostle but i see you 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 invested 32 lights in here that is why god entrust the body with you god is looking for businessmen who will not be shocked and they will not say how can we be more stingy god is looking for a businessman kings that are not moved by money kings are not moved by money do you know why people fight money because they are the most stingy ones they are the ones that the ones that don't give are the ones that criticize about money but the ones who give they are happy no yeah. if you want to criticize put your money and then talk talk no yeah. if you want to criticize put your money and then speak up but you 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 only give 2 rupee and you want to talk about how you should use this 2 rupees it doesn't work that is why god trusted his body with a businessman he said i need someone that will not cut cost because the tomb the businessman bought was a tomb that nobody was laid before it is specifically mentioned that this tomb nobody was laid before because if he'd have gone to any other disciple these guys they would have said okay, any way of compromising on this price because to buy a new tomb is more expensive to buy a second hand is more cheaper to but and buy a new one oh no 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 so god knew that so god entrusted a businessman with his body those who are clapping you are that businessman it had to be a tomb that nobody was laid it had to be a tomb that nobody was laid god is looking for the spirit of excellence god is looking for the spirit of excellence somebody that is not a afraid of money that he can trust you with money what happens to somebody that has never seen money when they get little money they start controlling the money they've never seen so much money in their lifetime so the moment they get money they start becoming more stingy because they think that i've never had this all of a sudden i have so much money that is why all the committee members you have to be careful who you make the treasurer before you make that uncle the treasurer you have to ask him how much money have you counted brother because all of all of a sudden he starts seeing so much money his heart is racing all his life put together he's not seen so much and you're getting that in one offering and he's freaking out no 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 this is god's money we have to be careful and he becomes the next judas now you understand why all the treasurers in the church has been giving problems because they never saw money so the pastor says we have to buy a new camera but what happened to the three other cameras but can we fix this camera and reuse it uh, you press it one more time maybe it'll work this <laughs> because uncle has never seen three cameras in his life and you made him the treasurer <laughs> he's already thinking why do you need three cameras one camera is not enough it is four gospels matthew mark luke john why do you need four gospels <laughs> matthew mark luke john same story you know uh, so <laughs> so much ink was wasted one book one guy writing one book is more than enough why do you need four books to write the same story i was four different lens go 
God is looking for kings. Kings and priests. This is the next dimension. This is the next season. God is looking for people that will handle wealth and not fall in love with it. God is looking for people that the speed at which wealth comes is a speed that you give away. How how is it that you make sure how is it that you make sure that you don't fall in love with money? As fast as it comes, give it away. As fast as it comes, give it away. When God gives you a car, you have to learn to give it away. Somebody was criticizing my car. I said, brother, I, you're criticizing my one car. I said, but I have given more cars away than the number of cars you own. So before you can criticize my car, let's compare notes. How much have you done? How much have you given? So when God blesses me, don't be jealous of me. So because God sees that if I give him a car, at the speed at which it comes, it keeps going out. So it will keep coming. It will keep coming. I was telling somebody there was criticizing my, my spiritual father. They said, oh, why does he need this car? I told them, this man of God has given away more than 250 cars. Uh, not, not, not your broke Honda Civic or whatever. No, 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 no. He's given, he's given away Mercedes Benzes to pastors for free. Okay? They, let him drive whatever he wants. What's your problem? There is no medicine for jealousy. Yes, I'm declaring God is raising up a generation that is listening to this word. You are the next. You will give away cars. You, you will look at men of God. You will be the sponsor of the prophets. Believe it, believe it, believe it, receive it, declare it. Said, this is my life. This is my life. I'm receiving it. I'm receiving. The voice you are under is what you're going to grow into. The voice you are under, you are, I'm declaring this is your destiny. You are the one that will build the house for the prophets. You are the one that will take care of the cars of the prophets. You are the one that will build churches around the world. You are going to single-handedly sponsor conferences and crusades. God is raising you up to be kings. Let me show you something, please. Do you know the end time God is raising up kings and priests. And two prophets that God is sending out that will come to challenge the Antichrist will be Enoch and Elijah. Both of them functioned under the grace of both being a king and a priest. I talked to you about how Enoch was also a king. Okay, those that have uh, not already done that, you can download our app on your iStore or Android. Search for Shaiju Matthew. Look into the series that is on Enoch. I think I, there's like a five part series on Enoch that you should take time every day Listen to a little of the word. Let the word be in your heart. Commit to that and I, I believe that it will be a life changing one for you. And in that I was talking about the life of Enoch and I, sh I showed about how Enoch was a king that began to lead kings. By the time he died, 800,000 
kings and princes they were submitting to his leadership he was leading kings it takes a king to lead a king it takes a king to lead a king and i was sharing about that in the pune conference that is already available on the app look at elijah the arrival of elijah okay search for that on the app and i talked about it very briefly but i said elijah was also a king elijah was a king now for those who didn't didn't, didn't pay attention i'll repeat that for you elijah was a a king how do you say that because you have to study a king is not a king because he has a crown king is not a king because he has a throne king is a king because that is what he is in his blood by dna that means many of you who don't know about it by dna <laughs> because you will see the way elijah carries himself he barges into ahab number 1 it takes a kingship grace to walk into a king's presence and not be intimidated huh prophets knock elijah walks in he appears and he says what unless i say there shall be no yeah he's not saying uh, king i was in a 21 day fast and I, i i heard the prophetic word of the lord and hear what the lord says the lord says there shall be no rain or dew in the land no he's coming there and he knows elijah knows in his spirit you may be the one sitting on the throne but i am the one that is in charge of this nation I am appointed by God as a steward of this nation. I am the gatekeeper of this nation. In the realms of the spirit, they don't consider you as the king. They consider me in charge of the nation. So when I come I'm challenging your kingship. He's saying, "Thank you. You you you're the guy who's been sitting on the throne." doing all this nonsense he said okay now i want to i want to see is it your words that is powerful or is it my words a king's words are very important so he's challenging the words that comes out of the mouth he says let's see who is the king now because you're the guy who is on sitting on the throne right he's challenging that kingship by saying unless i say he's saying you think you're the boss now i'm going to show you who is the boss unless i say that's kingship that's identity you're looking at the demons that has been playing and messing and confusing and creating chaos in your life and you stand up and say wait a minute unless i say you will have no more rain in this place What many believers don't understand is that the reason why your prayer is not answered so far is because you have been praying. Because you were not supposed to be praying. You were supposed to be decreeing. A king does not request a king decrease huh? tell of god god is changing the way you pray the reason why your prayer is answered is because you're still praying you're not supposed to pray you're supposed to look at the devil and say hey that's it ah but but you have to say in the mighty name of jesus you are embodying the name are you following what i'm saying you will see in the identity when my wife goes somewhere 
she doesn't need to keep saying i am the wife of shaji mati i am the wife of shaji mati when she walks in they know oh the wife of shaji mati is coming okay she doesn't need to keep introducing herself every time you think the devil does not know you thinking that by saying the word jesus made you more spiritual yet the seven sons of skeva they said in the name of jesus come just like the way you use in the name of jesus no these guys also use the name of jesus and the demons flogged them in the market the one demon beat up seven boys i i cannot even imagine this i don't know how we'll create this movie of this chapter <laughs> one demon possessed person beat up seven guys to the point where don't imagine this part but their clothes were ripped off and they ran naked in the market and they used the name of jesus they used the name of jesus and yet even jesus didn't have to use the name jesus that's deep you didn't catch that one all he needed to do was step in on the island and satan came and worshiped him because there was no need for him to say it he defined it please help, help let me help you understand so you by saying it still didn't carry it but some of you you have to understand you come to a place you grow in jesus so much that you don't need to now open your mouth and say in the you don't need to even complete it you look and demons will know you carry jesus gabriel looks and he says i am gabriel who stands before the presence of god when you stand before the presence of god sometimes you don't need to even open your mouth god is looking at a group of people that will stand before the presence of god stand before the presence mary stood she refused to leave she stood she's like i know i know i know angel appeared mm, i stood now jesus had to appear to her enoch walked with god for 300 years now god had to appear to him daniel walked with god prayed one two three times wasn't enough prayed three times wasn't enough prayed three times wasn't enough he said i'm going on a fast day one nothing happened day two nothing happened three ten nothing happened twenty twenty first boom and the angel of the lord appeared to him shall of god stay in the presence of god until god cannot resist you anymore stay in the presence of god until god cannot ignore you anymore morning afternoon evening morning after bother god they that put god into remembrance let them not stay silent as in your bible right they that put god into remembrance let them not stay silent they will begin to intercede day and night day and night they will begin to burn the lamp day and uh, there is a reason why even as you're sitting on the chair your body cannot sit still and you're wondering what what's happening because what is happening is the word is releasing a spirit of prayer into you the devil discouraged you too much the devil lied to you too much the devil made you weak the devil made you think that you are nothing the devil made you think that oh you need the man of god to lay hands on you you're about to tell the devil the grace that is on the man of god is also the grace that is on my life you're about to tell the devil until last week i allowed all the nonsense but now i'm entering into the furnace of fire until last week i allowed you to do what you want 
but i am about to show you that i might be in exile but you are not the one running the country it is me the one who stands before the lord is the one god is raising up daniels i said god is raising up daniels is it possible that you rise up distance is not a barrier to god revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services 